Embryo Anda. We are here to talk about embryo transfer. I'm gonna show you two different types of embryo transfer catheters presented by Olwyn. This is a classic embryo transfer catheter with two parts, a more rigid sheath and a softer inner part. For an embryo transfer, the first thing you need to do is to plug a syringe full of culture media and flush this culture media through the catheter. Now we can load the embryo and take it to the theater where the clinician is ready with the patient in position. The doctor will introduce it through vagina, will pass through the cervix and then place it in the middle of the endometrium and flush with the embryo. The procedure is quite simple but it's crucial so it must be done perfectly under ultrasound guidance. There is no harm to the patient, although there are some exceptions where anesthesia can be required. So as I mentioned before, embryo transfer catheters has two parts. The main function of the outer sheath is to get access through the cervix. Sometimes it's an easy straight access, but some cervixes have some curves that may complicate the access. So the sheath must be a little bit stiff to facilitate the entrance. For example, here we can see the straight sheath of the Ecotrans embryo transfer catheter. But if the position of the uterus is in retroverse or the cervix isn't straight enough, you can take advantage of the elbow that the Pro Ecotrans sheath has. As we can see, the sheath of the Ecotrans and the Pro Ecotrans has a marked area so the doctor can see how far inside is he going. And for better accuracy, the Pro Ecotrans sheath has also a silicon depth positioner. As optional, we can also use an obturator to enter the cervix without dragging cervical mucus. So now that we are in position, we're gonna introduce the inner part. But of course, don't forget to take out the obturator. Regarding the inner part, there are two features that we're gonna pay attention to. Softness, not only in technical aspects, but in the material and the echogenicity. What we want is to generate as little disturbance as possible and to locate precisely where I'm leaving the embryo. For this reason, the inner part of the Ecotrans and the Pro Ecotrans has microbubbles all along the catheter. This, of course, is thought to give better visual at the moment of leaving the embryo inside the endometrium. You can choose either options. I'd rather Pro Ecotrans because it's softer, but it also has an inner steel pipe to support the inner catheter. Of course, they comply with the most rigorous quality control tests and embryo toxicity assays. That's all about embryo transfer catheters. Let me know in the comments which one would you prefer.